why email marketing? Because if you don't stay top of mind of your world, people will forget about you. Nobody wakes up every morning thinking about your business except for you, right? So your job as a business owner is to let the market know that you exist. You need to remind them and tell them why their life will be better when they buy products or services from you. Um, you'll notice that your inbox every day has emails from people who are staying in touch with you. And email marketing works so well that, that the proof of that is that when you see companies using email or any marketing tool over and over and over, that's because it works, right? If it didn't work, uh, you would uh, not be seeing email being used over, over, and over, right? So uh, I'll give you a perfect example of that. Now, my sink was clogged. That's not really my sink, but I thought it was a better picture than a really clogged sink. So kidding aside. So I had a problem in the house. I called a plumber. The plumber came. The plumber fixed the problem. And then the problem, the plumber left. Six months later, I had another plumbing problem in the house, and I did not remember the name of that plumber. I really thought carefully, no idea. So I ended up going, asking for a, a neighbor uh, who they used, and they gave me the person's name, and I got the problem solved. Now, what if the first plumber every month sent me an email? with information about their business and something that presents their expertise in terms of what they do and how they help their residential customers, their commercial customers, and so on. Chances are I would have remembered that name and I would have said, oh yeah, there's that, that plumber and you know, every month they send me an email, pretty cool, it looks pretty sharp too. So let me call them that person up because I remember their name, right? So whether you're a plumber, a CPA, you sell used cars, or you do manicures, same thing applies to you. Your job as a business owner is to remind the market that you exist because the market will forget about you unless you tap people on the shoulder on a regular basis and say, hey, this is me. This is why I'm really good at what I do. And next time you have a need for your product or service, please contact me. That's the bottom line. Now, how do we do that? And what are the overall goals? So the overall goals in business is to drive revenue. That's the bottom line. Mm -hmm. So by increasing awareness about your business and you will get more repeat business and more word of mouth marketing. So I'll give you another example. So um, uh, one of our clients is a music school, right? So that teaches kids and adults how to play the piano, the guitar, and so on. And the other day, a friend of mine was telling me that their 10-year-old kid is, wants to learn how to play the piano. So guess what I did? I forwarded the email of that music school to my friend. Did the friend know about the music school? No. Did the music school know about that person who had a need? No, but because this music school was sending an email about what their services are, I simply forwarded it to my friend and the friend discovered that this music school exists and he got in touch with them and that's how it worked. So these emails have the power beyond their email list. When you create an email, you can post that email. Each email is has its own web address and you can post it on social media. So other people whose email address you don't have are able to um, see that email and ideally even sign up for your email list. Mm 